how are you? Uh, Thursday. Um, we didn't get celebrating last night, Kitty. No. Even we though it was our birthday, we went to sleep. Well, when when we go finally go home out of the office. Um, it has been a busy week, and we are. It's going to be. I didn't realize it was going to be as big as it is. It's, it's huge. Yeah, it is. It's a big, and we're going to be touching fifteen hundred. So it's going to huge. be a big uh, auction. Huge. It's a massive auction. Um, and all the work that goes involved with that. So uh, everybody's flat to the mat, or as Jade says. Flat out like a badger on a bypass. Flat out like a badger on a bypass. Poor badgers. Um, we do... Look, it's been growing. I've been talking about it for months, about the Scotch and the American, uh, both the audiences and the bottles we have coming here. It is chicken and egg scenario, which mm-hmm. comes first. You've got to get the bottles to attract the audience. And then you need the you prices need the to, 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 to be getting the, the prices the, and Just all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So it's it goes around. But it's working because... Every month we're getting all of these things. And the amount of old bottles that obviously people had them for years, collected them many years ago. And some of them we don't even bother dusting down because they're literally what would be called a barn find if it was yeah. a car or something else like that. Uh, I don't think people had them in barns, but maybe so. You never know. Maybe so, Katie, maybe so, maybe so. Uh, the top row will start with the old Americans. Uh, look, you have all these mad ones. The Duke, so there's one that is uh, cashing in, uh, cashing in may or may not be the right word, but uh, trading on Mr. Uh, Wayne, John Wayne, get off your horse and drink your milk. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know what accent that was. I'm not, I've lost it today. Um, so again, I wonder, is this in one of the new celebrity ones or is that old ones or that? I'm not quite sure. Old granddad. Old grand Eddie. Uh, and then Rebel Yell. There's a couple of different ones there of the Rebel Yell as well. That They actually go quite well. Here's one that when we were doing a wee bit of homework on it proved to be uh, quite valuable. Uh, this is the Jack Daniels um, scenes from Lynchburg. This is a one litre bottle. Again, this is part of the barn find that came into us. Uh, that hasn't been cleaned, hasn't been polished up. We don't do that in case we take away from it. But uh, these bottles go for sort of four, five, six hundred pound. I mean, they're really, really sought after by the Jack Daniels. Apparently, it's one of the harder ones to get. And then you've things like beside that, you've Bird Dog. Bird Dog. Why wouldn't you call a bottle of whiskey Bird Dog? Absolutely. Bottle of whiskey, whatever you want. Absolutely. Uh, Jack Daniels again. It is probably one of the more collectible ones of the American. I mean, you know, people now are talking about Pappies and all the other ones. But Jack Daniels probably would have been one of the originals because they've such a legacy, and I mean they've been they've go back long, long time ago. But this is again one of the ones that was released to celebrate them winning a medal in 1905 in Liège in Belgium. Huh? There you go. She wasn't flown over on a hairy plane to to to. to she was on a boat. She was on a boat. The boys canoe in the canoe. <laughs> And beside that, you have a bottle of Ov- Old Overholt. Um, that's another one of these massively modern collectible bottles as well. Um, and there's a few different releases of that, but I think that is one of the older ones as well, and people will be looking for that. Uh, yeah, American, again, we constantly, we have Blantons and we have all this other stuff. Mm. And again, it bewilders us that we end up sending it back to uh, America couple of the guys were here uh, on the whiskey bus with us um, Nick and, and Troy and a few of the other guys and they were telling me like they were going into Celtic and they were paying two three hundred euros for a bottle of bourbon in Celtic but he said back in America they're going for a thousand you know and some because yeah. they just can't get them because of the the three tier system over there whereas we sort of seem to get them as well so it does seem to be a, a bit of a lucrative business maybe we should set up that no, we've enough. <coughs> I'm telling you. No, we've enough. There you go. Keep her lit. For later on. Uh, scotch on the bottom. Again, our, our Scotch audience has been constantly growing. I think Brexit helped a wee bit because, again, the barriers to moving the bottles between the EU and, and uh, the UK, Scotland, has been put in place because of Brexit. Mm-hmm. But also then the, the rate of sterling and all that sort of stuff. And guys are finding that we can nearly hold our own with some of the prices. Yes, sometimes it's cheaper, but I mean, we, we can, the euro, 
between the, the exchange rate, the hassle of getting it over there, yeah. all that sort of stuff, whereas they can send it into us and it gets looked after by us. On that note, again, part of a, a collection that came mm-hmm. into us was um, these old bottles. But I'll talk about the Rosebank because that's the biggie in there. That Rosebank 26-year-old is a proper uber collectible Scotch whiskey bottle. Um, it was 1972 or 1974, I think it was originally distilled in. 1967, sorry, 1967, I had my numbers wrong. And it was bottled in 1994. The Rosebank distillery had closed down. It has since been uh, regurgitated, isn't the right word, but it has come back to life there in 2020. So it is going to come back. It has brought a, 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 a close eye on the old legacy bottles. They were doing well anyhow, but now they're really, really doing well. And again, it's got Caden Heads in the front of it. I mean, Caden Heads is a, a, just a, a bastion of Scotch whiskey. I mean, they really do the shops themselves. William Caden Heads have been, you know, taunt, uh, selling their wares for years. But they really curated some fantastic bottlings and finding the, the, the casks and all that sort of stuff. And on that note, there's another one there, uh, Glen Garriach. Uh, that was a tasting bottle. So in, in Caden Heads as well, you've got these cage bottles that you can only get when you go there. Uh, and they go really well. We've had a couple of them in our time and they've done really, really well as well. Uh, beside that, the green bottle, uh, Sinead, is uh, a bottle of Johnny Walker Pure Malt 15-year-old. And the reason that's a bit of an oddity is because that's not you're not allowed to call them pure malts anymore. Um, th- it got sort of frowned upon. it become sort of a, a, a bad name, and so they stopped using it. But it's just mad that the price is on the front of the bottle there, like a 15-year-old for twenty four ninety nine. Huh? Huh? Twenty four ninety nine, not a bad old price for a fifteen year old. Twenty uh, euro sterling. That would have been sterling. Uh, that would have been sterling, absolutely. Well, I can't would, see it. Would, from would have been oldie, oldie, worldly sterling as well. All ah, right, okay. Uh, couple of Hazelburn there again. Any guys that's you know into the the the, the new releases of of it's Scotch whiskey nice. are talking about uh, Hazelburn. What's the other one you said? No, but it's for it's. Something to do with um, Springbank, isn't it? It is, yes, that's exactly it. That's oh. what, I'm glad you jumped in now because I couldn't bloody remember. Uh, oh, right. Jane A. Mitchell as well. They've <laughs> done really, really well. Bottle of old bottle of Glen Morangi beside it. Here is a bottle of Brooklyn Laddie. Brooklyn Laddie or Brook Laddick or whatever way you want to call it, but it's called a Lynx and it's the 18th Green Royal Troon. Um, an old bottling again. This has uh, a bit of rust and all that on the lid as well, but I mean, it was part of the old barn finds as well. So that'll be another one. I mean, anybody who's into the Waterfords hopefully know the story of Mark yes. Rainier and, and Brook Laddick and what he done for Brook Laddick. Um, and they've, they're, they're ultimately collectible. On the end, and here is a, a, a weird one. On the end is a Bell's Decanter. So Bell's Decanters years ago went bananas. Everybody lost their proverbials over them. Really, really high prices. I mean, they were going hundreds of pounds uh, in the Scotch market. And all of a sudden it just fell apart. It was like the Emperor's New Clothes. Everybody went, that's not particularly great whiskey. And it's just a, a, a funny shape decanter. And it just literally nearly overnight it fell apart. They've done some mad ones. I mean, we've had some... Have we had... Yeah. We've had some mad ones. And one of the one bottles, and we'll tell the story, yeah. actually. One of the one bottles that we've actually... We, we've refused a few over the years, over the four years now. Of course, for different reasons. For different reasons. But one of the ones was a, a Bell's... A uh, yeah, it, was, <laughs> it was his point of principle, actually. Uh, it was a Bell's decanter that was put into us, and it was Prince Andrew. It was to celebrate his marriage to Fergie. It was to celebrate Prince Andrew's marriage to Fergie. And he just thought it was inappropriate to be selling anything with Prince Andrew's mug on the front of it. And, and we put agreed. His, put his foot down. Put, put his foot down and said, to photograph it. And we sort of went, do you know what? You're right, actually. Let's not let's not just be flaunting stuff like that uh, no. uh, and uh, condemn it uh, if we can. But Lizzie... Old Elizabeth II, um, who passed away recently. Um, I wonder, is this going to really kickstart them again? I mean, the Bells Decanters, I've always rated them. I thought they were crackery bottles because 
a lot of the time the gold that's on the banding is 24 karat gold. I know. It, like it's proper gold. It's not just thing. Painted on. Like. Painted on. Uh, well, it probably is painted yeah, on, but it, I mean. it is proper gold. Uh, they've always been celebrating something. So they've been unique things. So they've done little ones as well and all that sort of stuff. And Christmases and all sorts. Yeah, like, <coughs> absolutely. We, really we've had a few, fair few of them over the years as well. But you just wonder now with, with um, the Queen Elizabeth passing away, are they now going to become uber collectible again? Or will people still look at them and go, but they're bells. They're bells, they can't have. They might be collectible. There's yeah. Still, there, 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 there's still people out there who collect all the memorabilia from the Wright family. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and and again, I, I, I you know, it, it could be ultimately a very collectible thing mm. in the years to come. I mean, she looked, that was, so this one was done to her, her 75th uh, birthday. So again, but the, 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 here's a mad one for you, Kate. The, the differences in the two brand names. So McCallan have done a few uh, uh, Queen-related or Royal-related things. So the, 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 the Jubilee and all that sort of stuff, the Ruby Jubilee and all that sort of stuff. They were thousands. I mean, thousands. But yet, the Bells decanter isn't. So, But you've got the... You've, you've got the the McCallan name. name. Yeah, yeah. And as I say, and unfortunately, Bells has got the Bells name now of the Bells decanter. I mean, they do some bloody good Scotch whiskey. I mean, it is a blended Scotch whiskey, but it's usually quite good. Uh, it's not. I mean, I, I think that's one of the things that people overlook and over ignore as well. And it's an eight year old. It's an eight year old. She was an eight year old. She was 75. She was 96. Bugger. Six. Can't remember. 96, I think. She was born she in 1926. Two and four is 12 is 17. Do you and four is nine is 64. She was 96, Kitty. <laughs> I'm glad you got to that from now on that mess and you don't. Uh, I don't think so. I, Matt, I think she was 96. If it was 26, then she was 96. Yeah. Um, they were a cracking little thing. I mean, they're all all done by Wade. I mean, again, porcelain collectors go mad for Wade, Wayne porcelain as well or Wayne pottery as well. Uh, so, I mean, why wouldn't you want to collect these things? I wouldn't want to collect them, but why wouldn't somebody else want to collect them, you know? Um, I think that's it. That's us. Uh, tomorrow we do have a few other very special scotch that are in our auction this month as well. They're for charity. Um, Mahoosively collectible bottles. Um, and we're going to talk about them tomorrow. We have a few charity items. We're going to talk about that. That's for the Lions Club, I believe, in Newbridge. Uh, and then hopefully we'll just tidy up any other bits and pieces. Hopefully. Hopefully, if we get finished processing the bottles, we'll still be photographing. Anybody who hasn't received an email, don't panic. Um, I'll be here at 11 o'clock tonight, still working away. You'll still you might get emails at God knows random hours yeah. in the morning. Exactly. Don't worry about it. We'll have it all done, as we always do. So on that note, we'll see it I'm away back to work. Bye.